NBC drops the hammer on Brian Williams, six-month suspension without pay. The network completes the public humiliation of its top news anchor after his inflated tales of daring do, in a move that suggests it has uncovered more damning information. The unpaid six-month suspension of NBC Nightly News anchor Brian Williams and the harshness with which his bosses announced it was greeted with equal measures of shock and sadness Tuesday night both inside and outside of NBC News. I am flabbergasted, to be honest, said a longtime NBC News veteran who spoke on condition of anonymity. What NBC just did, by handing down this kind of six-month sentence, really prevents Brian from redeeming himself in any kind of expedient way. Don T. We agree that when you make a mistake, you correct it immediately, in the world we live in now. What is Brian going to do for the next six months? Television news analyst Andrew Tyndall said NBC's punishment which essentially fines Williams an estimated $5 million in lost salary while banning him from NBC's air for the duration of his suspension is tantamount to a dismissal. He is not going to read a teleprompter at NBC ever again, is my prognosis, Tyndall told the Daily Beast. I have never heard of this kind of public announcement saying, we are not paying you. Whatever has gone on behind closed doors, they were daring him to resign. NBC News President Deborah Ternis wrote in a staff memo that weekend nightly news anchor Lester Holt, who stepped in for Williams on Monday, will continue to substitute anchor the NBC Nightly News, although it is widely expected that other on-camera talent, such as Jadeus Savannah Guthrie and NBC Sports anchor Josh Elliott, will also get their audition in the nightly chair over the next 26 weeks. Ernest M. Stephen Burke, chief executive of NBC Universal as well as executive vice president of NBC's parent company Comcast each issued stern rebukes of Williams' S. public fibbing, notably on his own Jan. 30 newscast, about a helicopter ride during the 2003 U.S. invasion of Iraq and other incidents, including tall tales and shaggy dog stories that are apparently still being uncovered in an internal review of the anchor S. past statements. The review which is being conducted by Chief Investigative Producer